Hello dear friends, my name is uh, Jitendra Bafna. I am a senior MuleSoft architect. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to add or how to deploy a JSON logger to AnyPoint Exchange. So by default, a JSON logger is not part of your AnyPoint Exchange. So basically, there is a good a block has been given on the blogs.muleshop.com so basically it provides all the steps like how you can uh, add a json logger into your any point exchange so by default a json logger is not available uh, even like if you search it here you will not find a json logger okay so now i want to use a json logger okay so how can i uh, use that so basically we will follow a few steps so first thing like uh, make sure a git is installed on your machine or your server or on your machine sorry so i will create a one folder in a uh, d drive so i can name this folder as a json logger okay then a second step so what you have to do you have to copy this your https github.com mulesoft consulting json logger slash 3 4 point x json logger if you can go to that particular block you can find that uh, json logger url simply so what i will do uh, let me copy this url let me go to my browser and let me paste it and, and try enter okay so what i can do i can click here then I can copy this URL or I can copy this URL from here okay then I can go to this particular folder I can say CMD then I can say git clone then you can clone your JSON logger so it will clone your JSON logger basically okay it's done the next step what we have to do open JSON logger then go to template file and go to a settings.xml edit in settings.xml like you have to provide any point platform so uh, you have to provide uh, you can search for exchange to pro provide uh, any point uh, platform username so i will provide my username so i will provide my password later so uh, i don't want to make it uh, visible i will provide uh, later the second thing copy this particular thing okay copy this then you go to your m2 file uh, you know uh, it's under users jitender.bafna.m2 under m2 you have a settings.xml edit this and you can add this under your servers so I already have one server I can add this also exchange you know server exchange to if you want to remove a comment you can remove this particular comment and save it I will provide the password later so what I will do I will pause the password and I will configure my you know a power so I will pause the video and I will configure my password so let me pause so guys welcome back so generally I like you know it will use the settings.xml from .m2 I don't think it will use from here so make sure like uh, you configure the correct password username and everything so this this is what uh, we have to do now if you see open your like a json logger under json logger if you open a pom.xml okay so we want this organization uh, ID token we want this so how we can find the organization ID token so basically it's very simple so basically uh, what you can do you can go to any point uh, platform you can go to access management and we want the organization ID so go to your organization and you know just select on your organization copy this ID then I can go to my notepad and I can paste it organization ID there now I will go back to my exchange okay so what till now what we have done we have cloned a logger JSON logger from github to on our local machine then we have configured the settings.xml in .m2 as well as the setting.xml in you know this particular templates file you know uh, so basically we have configured to any point platform username and the password make sure that part particular username and the password have access uh, to the any point exchange now next step I want like I will copy this particular thing so so basically path copy this path json logger json logger where your deploy to exchange.hss is, is available I can go to git base or whatever you know you can go to your like uh, command prompt also so let me paste it enter 
okay so I came to this particular path now I can say uh, dot slash deploy I can say tab now you have to provide your organization ID you can copy this and paste it here and enter so now it's saying it's deploying a JSON logger to exchange and it's replacing your organization ID you can see that here you know so now your pom.xml will get replaced with this particular organization ID so let's wait while it's uh, deploying and it's compiling you know uh, the JSON logger and right now if you see in exchange we don't have any JSON logger so you can see that So guys start downloading a required file you know so guys what I will do it may take some time I will pause the video till it's uh, download all the dependencies welcome back you can see my like uh, json logger has been successfully uploaded to exchange 2 so that is exchange to which we have configured in our settings.xml in .m2 file okay so let me open my any point exchange okay so let me see that so you can see a json logger has been installed or has been deployed to your any point exchange successfully so so these are the steps you need to perform to deploy a exchange into your any point ex uh, uh, sorry json logger into your any point exchange basically so let me use the json logger here so can i find json logger no no right so you can say try looking for it in exchange make sure you are providing your organization username and the password so my yeah I uploaded this particular user I can say JSON so it should be pub, uh, visible uh, in this available module so let me check why oh session has been expired so let me put the my username and password correctly let's wait it's taking some time generally it should not be like that but that's fine so let's wait till it's uh, pop up for username in a password window once it will pop up for username and password window then I can you know search for JSON logger okay good so it has opened the pop-up window so I can put my username and the password once it will load so here you can see it downloaded all the dependency everything it do a lot of thing you know so you can see that here Yeah, it is loading the page so I want to put my username and password generally it should not take that much of the time but maybe internet uh, connection I don't think internet issue is there so let me cancel and try to log in it again okay so I can put uh, my username sign in now I can search 
so let's wait uh, yeah now I can search for a JSON logger I search it wrong JSON you can see a JSON logger mule 4 so I can add it and I can say finish so this will download a JSON logger into your AnyPoint studio and you can use your with your mule flow basically it will download so till that uh, we can see so this is your JSON logger which is a kind of a mule plugin and you can open this and you can see like you know all, all those things what is the latest version and everything so let's wait no, while it's down if you want to remove json logger you just say delete version so it will remove the json logger from your any point exchange let me stop yeah so now uh, it has successfully uh, download a json logger so you can see your json logger it's a logger logger is called so these are the various operation you can use you can drag and drop json logger into your mule palette okay and you can start using this you know from uh, json logger okay so we will see like how we can implement how we can use the json logger in mule flow in our upcoming videos so i hope you like this video thanks for watching if you like this video please click on like and subscribe button